Hey guys, what's up? Jessica Crane here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week we are going to go over Caribou's game bags and a few other things. They sent us a package. I've used them for about five years and put them through the ringer in the mountains. So we're, there's some new stuff here that I've never used before and then there's some stuff that I have used before. So I hope next time you are picking out your game bags, this will help you choose what is right for you and which system is right for you. Next one we're going to start off with is the Wapiti set. So this system is the one that I've ran the most and this is what it looks like. It's in a vented sack. The bottom is like a mesh and it has a drawstring at the top. These are bright orange. We're going to go through this set so I can show you guys what they look like and it's super similar to the Muley. Obviously they're different sizes. So the Wapiti set, the quarter bags are 23 by 40 and the Muley ones are 18 by 34. You get four quarter bags in both and you get one parts bag and it's in your vended pouch. The weight on the Wapiti set is 21 ounces, 14 ounces for the Muley one. Notice about these game bags is they have no logo anywhere on them. So that's gonna ensure you have the best breathable game bag double sewn top seams here and you have a pull cord that has this tightening piece here and that stays tight so that's going to be really good to prevent flies anything getting into that bag you also have your two lock loops at the top you hang dry or if you have an id tag you can also put that on there another thing they come with which i really really like is these light reflective strips here these things light up pretty dang good. I mean, you're, if you have a headlamp and you're walking through the woods, it's gonna be pretty easy to find these. Also, if you notice again, they did not put them across the bag. They sewn them into the side. So you're gonna get your best ventilation with these bags. The ones that I've had in the past have been white. I'm digging these orange ones because that's just more, one, a safety feature and also just, it's bright as hell. So you're not gonna lose them anywhere if you are hanging them. Um, so when you have them on your pack, that's just another safety feature to have. Bright orange on your pack, hauling out meat, um, especially when you got a head on you. In the Wapiti one and in the Muley one, you have five bags total. You have your parts bags and your quarter bags. Um, I really enjoy the vented sack because you can shove these all the way back in there. They fit really nice. And also you can maybe even throw your knife in there. A lot of times I throw, I have a little kill kit that I have that has some knives and other goodies in here. We got a knife, we got gloves, we've got flagging tape. You can put anything in there that you would like. One thing I forgot to mention is you have light reflective uh, strand, like thread inside of your tightening pull straps at the top. Also, you have it on the top of your game bag too, the vented sack, which is super helpful. So that's gonna be the size difference in those. A couple things that I've never used before is be their camp bag set. So those high, high quality meat cuts that you're gonna wanna cook back at camp, you throw it in this bag. So you're taking this right back to camp to cook up some fresh backstrap, tenderloins, whatever you please. You're not supposed to put plastic around your meat because it will not breathe. But if you're hauling it just in transport, there's nothing wrong with it and you're not gonna have any issues with it. Not that I've ever encountered, not anybody I know has ever encountered. Just make sure when you get back to camp, you take that meat bag out and you get some ventilation to it and get some air to it. But what's nice is they include this bag here that fits right over this camp sack throw it into your pack you can throw it anywhere and it's not going to make a mess they didn't stop at any of their high quality add-ons with their light reflectors here and all of the same qualities as the big game bags so this is definitely going to be something that i am adding into my pack because you get back to camp and you have to dig all the way into the bottom of one of your meat bags that you don't know which one you put your tenderloin in if you didn't put it in your parts bag it's really nice to just be able to be like hey this is where we're, what we're cooking tonight and this is where it's at this one i've never used before the carnivore so this is for any of your boned out situations highly recommended for sheep and goat hunters from everything that i'm reading on it your lightweight setup which is let's see it's 14 ounces five 16 by 30 meat bags in it. They're gonna be, I believe, very similar to the other ones, but let's pull them out and check them out. 
They're full synthetic game bags and I've never had an issue with them ripping, tearing, anything. The carnivore bags, all of them are the same size. They still have all of the features on them. They do have a small logo on them. Your carnivore set for your boned out, lighter weight sheep and goat hunters. You also have the light reflecting tab on all of your bags too. A little bit outside of game bags, they sent me two more items, but I'm excited to use them this year. Never used them before, so I'll let you guys know what I think, but they seem like pretty high quality items. This is Koi Yukon, waterproof bag. This thing seems like it can handle some shit, so I'm excited to use this this year, whether I'm putting clothes that I need to keep dry in it or some camera stuff that I need to keep dry. They're also available in 35 and 25 liter, and this one's a 25 liter. The top of it, two hooks which you can then use a lock and lock it up too. You know, once your stuff gets wet, you're kind of shit out of luck out there. Last but not least, we're gonna have the rifle cover. Logo right here, some really good high quality thick material, and then you have the stretch on it. So it's gonna fit nice and tight, not fall off. Room for a scope. Good, that same material is gonna be on the back. Lastly, on these game bags, they clean up really, really well. They're machine washable, but I would recommend spraying them off before you throw them in your washing machine. You would think with white bags, which is the ones I showed you here, with white bags, you think they would get nasty, dingy, gross. Dude, they're like new when they come out. So I've used these before. I believe in this product and I recommend them to you highly. Caribou Gear is a great company. Make high quality gear of what you're gonna need in the backcountry and you wanna invest in what you're putting around your meat because you don't want any flies in it. You don't want it to be not breathable enough. You want your meat to be good because that's why we hunt, is for that high quality meat not to go to waste. So invest in your game bags, really know what you're using. I hope this video helps the next time you're at the store to pick out game bags or online. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them below in the comments or get a hold of me on Instagram. If you would like more gear reviews or have any questions about gear, comment that below too. Please like and subscribe and follow. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.